Hey everyone, welcome back. Now, currently back from vacation, which was that down in in BC for quite a while. Visit some relatives and, and doing some other get-togethers. So, did get a couple, did get a few things while I was down there, a bit of a shopping trip. I'm going to show those a little bit later on in the video. But I just want to mention, first of all, I did also go to a convention with some friends and to explain a little bit about most recent video which would have been on Wednesday there's this convention that I've, that is around the anthropomorphic furry culture which is something that I've had an interest in for a while actually so and that and so I did end up so went there with some friends and that and it was, and the convention itself was known as Furre. And here's, here was my uh, badge tag that I have. And of course, have my name with it, representing the model shop. And of course, when I was there, it was on the 16th and 17th of July, which was the Saturday Sunday. I did originally intend going earlier. But a couple things got in the way, so wasn't fully able to to experience all the days there. Along with that, they were they did get some. There was some mag or magazines, I suppose, of everything was going on. And this year is the tenth year celebration, and the the special theme this year was Marty Paws, which. Is a take on Mardi Gras. So, of course, for ten years, quite nice. Despite two, despite two years, nothing was going on due to lockdown and such. Yeah. So, it's quite a lot. There's quite a lot to do. Oh, hopefully, the Corvettes don't fully fall. Was part. Of, there was also a animal shelter fundraiser going on and of course some special getting to know some of the special guests there a bit of a backstory about the the event for this year yeah so just overall some insight and then there was yeah and of course marketplace to go shopping which did end up getting quite a few things from there, actually. Well, I got a few things, mostly decals and some other stuff here and there. Which I show, here's a picture of everything that I got. So then, of course here, pretty much sharing all the vendors, specialty guests. And of course, for next year, or... Not next year, just some things later this year, what's going on at some other places. Now, of course, there is a few, there was quite a lot going on there. Now, as I said, I was only able to ex experience it for the two days. So, overall, it was a very fun experience. And then, of course, showing the back of all the previous events from the last couple years. So, there's that. So now, there's a little bit of something to get to know me, which I'm not sure, well, considering a lot of people, are, or most of my uh, followers are qu quite a lot older than me, I'd imagine. So it's a bit, so, I'm thinking that my, a lot, something quite different than what you're really expecting. But for the most part, I do... Probably st I'm still going to be doing a lot of the scale models. So, that's probably going to be a thing. So, the anthropomorphic and furry stuff is probably going to be very sol solemnly. And not very, not really going to show it that frequently. So, yeah, so there's that. Now, what, so, get the get stuff together and I'll show you some of the things that I bought while I was in... BC. So starting off here, 
went to was at a antique store where they had quite a lot of model kits for sale. Felt like grabbing all of them, but fared best just to grab some. So first one that I have here is the Opel GT Mini Muscle Car, which is in a much larger box than your sta your standard model kit. But I've been looking at I figured this an interesting looking kit. The cool thing about it that I found was it's got quite a lot of customization options. So like doing a st stock, modified, or a race version. So also pretty good to have stuff for the extra parts. Not entirely sure when or, or when I'm going to be building that. But it'll be... It'll be something good to work with. And a fairly unique unique kit is this Revell Old School Deals Wheels Camaro Z28. Now this one here, I have seen some monogram version, or the monogram kits of this. Which, pretty much a very cartoony looking car. And of course I've about similarly around this time, maybe earlier last year, built a built the Baldwin Motion Camaro. So figured having a tuned Camaro to go along with a stock looking Camaro would be a nice touch to have. So it's also going to be interesting to see how exactly something like this goes together. As I can't really imagine there's too too many parts for this, but of course, you don't really know until you start looking at everything. Of course, it does have a figurine in it. So, it's fairly different. So, really different and unique. And then, now let's hear what. They pick up this Dodge, this Dodge Magnum SRT8 station wagon. This one here. Tw Essentially, almost thirty dollars. So, not too bad. Not too bad per se, for being a factory sealed kit. And of course, with this, you pretty much get your opening hood, opening trunk, with detailed engine and some extra parts. And what I'm quite debating on actually doing with this is, I have a charger that I want to convert into a police car. So I'm thinking when I get when I get around to doing the charger. I'm going to get a, maybe do this up as well as a police cruiser. But of course, do it in a modified fashion. So, that's with that. And it, it does, does feel fairly packed inside. So, yeah, so that'll be quite a good kit to work with. And then there's this kit, which I wasn't expecting to find, which I did pay quite a bit of money for, but I'm fine with it. The AMT Ertl 78 Dodge Little Red Pickup, or the Little Red Express. Yeah, so now, with this one here, it is an open kit with some with some loose stuff. But I did see that's all. it's still a complete kit, and if, say, I was missing stuff, I could just all get stuff with the... What's your standard D100, D150 kit that MPC's got out? So, of course, for, for a really cool timeless truck, definitely, definitely a cool model to have of. And of course, well, don't really have many Dodge trucks. So, this will be, this is going to be a really nice, cool build to work with. And then, let's see. And let's see what else. Then these ones were from. These ones here were from another guy that I was buying stuff off of. Which this this one here is the Pontiac Firebird Street Custom by Lindbergh in one twentieth scale. Now of course vintage Valley Village sticker when stuff used to be cheap. Now the cool thing with this is it's got the complete Firebird kit. But inside as well, the guy threw in a uh, the Lindbergh 120 Dodge, not not Dodge, the 
the GMC Cyclone. But of course, that's going. It's kind not exactly the best built version of this. So you may just build it as your standard GMC S15. So that'll be cool. And then of course with the Firebird, then then of course I'm going to build this up as your standard car, which which I'm looking forward to. And then let's see here what got. Didn't know I had no idea that that this this one here existed. The monogram 69 Ford Torino Talladega. Of course, this one's from monogram in 124 scale. Now I have built the AMT version, but the problem that I had with that kit was I'm sure a lot of you've had this as well, where the nose cone doesn't exactly fit on nicely, so it's very off looking and not the best thing ever. So to have a kit where everything's all all put together, which is which is a nice touch. So probably just going to build this as your stock stock going race car. So that that was good to have. And then another good another good kit from what I've been hearing is this Color Me Gone 64 Dodge 330 Super Sport by Lindbergh. Now this one here, I've, I've seen a available from quite a lot of people and is a fairly common kit. So I figured, you know what, might as well pick one up eventually. Of course, stuff has been opened up, but everything is there. So, of course, haven't done many Dodge cars. So... Figured this would be an all. This would be another good starting ground for something. And of course, you got the Max Wedge four four twenty six, which is a which is always good to have. And let's see here as well. There's the the Revel, There's the Revel Amigo pack, which would have included a. 164 scale car but the guy who I bought off he took the car for some for custom stuff and didn't need the kit so pretty much so what I feel like for this is just going to be building it your standard Impala SS and just use the parts or use the extra parts for another project or something else so yeah, so well, that's going to be that's going to be an interesting build, and of course, don't see too many of the Impala SS kits around, especially the much newer versions. Admittedly, though, this the car here is going to be about 30 years old soon. So, so that's r really nice. And then, another, another really cool kit that I was glad to have added to the collection is this 1932 Imperial by LeBaron which was is an old MPC kit which is the a convertible s sedan body style in 125th scale gives you quite a lot of detail of, on what the car comes with with working steering authentic details opening trunk spare tires and then some customization options. Now on this kit here, there of course don't really have anything for copyright dates, but I believe but I did check on Scalemates to see when this kit was from. And I be, and it's believed to be this about a 1967 to 1969 kit. So this now now by far the oldest kit I have in my collection which I'm not sure if I'm going to build it or if I'm just going to keep it preserved as is as everything inside is still factory sealed and molded in a earth like gray and got and then fairly large sized instructions so 
Yeah, so that was that's gone that's a really cool one. Better this old. Would have been my the 1904 Duroc, which was from 196 no, 1974, I believe. So there's that kit. And then my, another kit that I have, which is pretty much has been a parts kit for now, which was the a 72 uh, MPC NASCAR kit, which, uh, as said, is a parts kit that was in, I bought incomplete, which I did know that, but that's just how it goes sometimes with older stuff. And then finally in the box, then finally with some with another thing that I got was. 58 Chevy Impala, which I've been wanting to get a Impala kit, or the 50s Impala, as I do eventually want to have a sequence of 58 to 1970 Impalas. But there is the 68, 69 Impalas, which are going to be fairly difficult and I imagine expensive to find. So really all I really need now is the 59, 60, and a 62 Impala. The other ones I already have fair, a fair few versions of. And interesting thing with this kit actually is that this was a work in progress kit from, from the seller. So pretty much been... So he did have, does have parts from other kits that is in here. So there's, as seen, there's the two chassis. There's the two chassis. Parts, parts still located on the parts tree. And then, then your interior tub with customized seats, which is a really nice earth green on jade with white pan with white panel accents. So that so I'm probably gonna be going for that and as well for the body. It was painted up in this nice black semi gloss semi gloss black, which isn't yeah do, which isn't quite a primer black, but still a nice looking color. And then the guy did do go ahead and applied some air did some airbrush flame work on the side, which looks really good on it. Now, I'm sort of debating of, do I end up cleaning the body up and then painting it into a two-tone car, or just leave it in black, or if anything, just do a, do a different colored roof, but not, a, not too, too sure at the moment, but of course, when I do, when I, if or when I do a proper video of this kit, I'll let you know what's going on with it. So, yeah, so that's gone. So, that's a fairly nice one as well. And yeah, that's everything that I got. There's a couple small things here and there that I got, but don't really didn't feel like they were worth showing, or don't really fit within. Yeah, so, so yeah, I believe that will be everything. That's everything for this video. And then of course, sometime next week, might be Monday, might be Tuesday, possibly Wednesday. Gonna have some do more video do another update for the the triage of Corvettes here. Which you can see I've been doing a, quite a bit more work on. But of course, won't be saving that for another day. So so yeah, that will be it for this video. Thanks for watching and see you next time.